That was Yes, We Have No Bananas, 1923. And once again, the federal government has no bananas because Congress, Obama, the Democrats, and the Republicans all kicked that proverbial can down the road. And this is the guy from Pittsburgh talking about what they just did, which was nothing. They didn't solve the problems of Obamacare and the $938 million website that doesn't work. The people out there paying inflated premiums for new Obamacare and seeing like they're doing in Idaho, they're doing in Nebraska, they're doing in Montana. Insurance companies are leaving the states in droves because of it. People with pre-existing conditions that Obama said you'll be able to keep your current health insurance, which he knew was a bald-faced lie. Well, people are paying the price for Obama's lies because now they're losing their health insurance and they gotta, they got to scrounge to get it before the first of the year and they're finding it almost impossible to do. So you're not going to be able to keep your health insurance and if you've got pre-existing conditions, the only condition you got is you're in a condition, all right? You're in a condition to get screwed by Obama and screwed by Obamacare and screwed by the Democrats. We're $17 trillion in debt. We got no bananas. The, the shelves of the shelves, the great produce store of, Amer of America, the fiscal shelves are empty. And yet the people in Congress and that clown in the White House, the produce man at the White House says, yeah, we got bananas. He knows he got no bananas. I got an email yesterday from eBay. eBay says fourth quarter pros, um, force cover results are expected to be down. I got other emails saying that companies are saying they're going to have a crummy Christmas. Yet the Democrats, everything's fine. Obama, economy's improving. It's all lies. It's all smoke and mirrors. We got Medicare. It's going to be broke for a few in a few years. But what does Harry Reid do in the Senate? He praises Mitch O'Connell for working with him to pass this thing and get Obama to sign up. But a while back, he said Mitch O'Connell was one of the worst people in the Republican Party. He's another bald-faced liar who needs to retire. The people in Nevada need to retire him for good. Send him back to Searchlight where he can shadow box in the dark. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get bitten by a radioactive jackrabbit and die. It's Harry and Reed needs to go, along with a few other people like Feinstein, Pelosi, Maxine Waters, Charles Rangel. 
the usual suspects, the usual liars, the usual prevaricators, the usual put the blame on everybody else but themselves. They all need to go. And we got people on our own party that need to go too. Like John O'Kane, who never met a compromise he didn't like. So, don't believe that the banana stand is full and you can just reach out and pick a banana or a plum. The federal government ain't got no bananas. They're broke. They're technically broke. We're 17 millions in debt. But people like Obama will tell you, we got bananas. All you want, just come on into the federal produce market. When they know the shelves are empty, the cobwebs are growing, and the only thing they got is, is the spiders of their own lies. The spiders are creeping in, and the dust is creeping on the empty shelves. While the low information voters lap it up and believe the lies because they don't have what's up here to say, wait a minute, you're telling me we got money and we owe trillions and everything's fine and pay no attention to the man behind the curtain at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue or the other guy behind the curtain in, in the Senate. Don't believe him. A lie for the party, a lie for themselves, and a lie because you out there are gullible. And you don't take the time out to check out whether they're telling you the truth or a lie. And that's sad. Well, this is a guy from Pittsburgh. I said my piece in this. Uh, continuing resolution to raise the debt limit while doing nothing and kicking the can down the road. But one day the road's going to wind up being the edge of a cliff, the fiscal cliff, and we're all going to fall off it. And these bastards take us, the country, and the economy, and the world with them. And that's not the way it should be, but that's the way it's going down. Unless you out there doing something about it, tell your tell the Congress and the Obama to knock it the hell off. And start doing some fiscal prudence and some cost cutting. And get rid of that horrible Obamacare law. Give us health care what people need. Because the people were Paying huge premiums who are making 90 grand a year in New York City and they can't get health care now because of Obamacare. 90 grand ain't got much money. There's guys in the Bay Area can't buy a house and making 80 grand a year. But your income's not high enough to buy a house, and yet there's hundreds of shuttered and bank owned, which is another euphemism, it's another fraud. Bank owned means it's been foreclosed. There's hundreds of bank homes, if not thousands of bank owned homes in this area. And yet they can't qualify to get a house because the greedy bankers want their big bucks when they're the one who got us in the mess that we're in today in the first place with fraudulent loans and worthless commercial paper backed up by fraudulent loans. Do your own investigation. Do your own research. And don't listen to the lies coming out of Washington and Sacramento and your state capitals. Because ultimately, it's you who's going to suffer for it. This is a guy from Pittsburgh. I'll catch you later. i got things to do and rush to listen to. Bye-bye and have a great weekend.